Yeah, it's the one that lives in Drury Lane. Wait, what? How does it go? Welcome back, everybody! <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the streams. <laughs> it's been... It's been a week. Well, it's been a few hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been a few hours since the last we talked to you, so... Uh, where are we headed to now with the gales of blasting so, winds? So, I'm so freaking... Okay, look. So, I was caught up with talking about my excitement for playing Breath of the Wild on my giant freaking TV that... I totally forgot. We had to revisit, revisit this place, where one of the goddess children, whatever, will give us the fire and ice arrows. This is it. This is what we've been looking for. This is the Juan. Uh, and if you remember, we came here one time, and she was like, "You're too young for me. You need to leave. Update your Tinder profile, and then come back to me." And now this is what's happening. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, hello, glass-eyed lady. Greetings. Oh, seen the door fate. Oh wait, actually, you are a boss. You know? I am the queen of fairy worlds. Is this not better? Does that not surprise you, chap? I like you. I like you a lot. You swipe left. So I give you power. <laughs> She's holding a... a fairy. <laughs> and she breaks it into fairies. It's freaking epic. This is how we get the ice arrows and fire arrows. Now we can... do what we... I have a lot to do in this episode. So... I'm... that's why I wanted to make it 30. Because there's a lot to do. Now that we have this, we can actually do a lot of things. Yes. Uh, I like how in this... in this version of it, instead of you getting like... This is how you get the ice arrows, is like fairies going to you. Instead of like you beating a boss and then like you have like the fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> I really think this is an awesome mechanic. Anyway. Uh, ice arrows, yeah, we'll melt ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Now we can do a lot of things, actually. <coughs> Maybe you look a little melted. <laughs> wow, that's so dark. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at you. You're so edgy. <laughs> oh, she says I'm not her type. Oh, it's like, yeah. But you could be right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, close. So close, but no cigar. I mean, I can't really date a dated bitch. Here. You know? I mean, yeah. okay. What no, if no, there's no, like no, this? No. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not, 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 not even go there. Let's not even go there. We avoided a bullet. <laughs> we avoided a, a cannon. Uh, uh, NC17. Uh, anyway, we are back with Moon Waker. I have more bait. I have the ice arrows now. We have so much to do. Um, but before all that, how has your week been? I haven't even talked about your week. I haven't. I've been just talking about me jerking it on my giant TV, and you haven't said anything. Well, what has my week been? It's been pretty... <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's been uh, fairly boring, uh, other than getting to see family on... Uh, Cram in school? On Cranberry Day, but yeah, mostly cramming school for my uh, for my trip that I spoke about in the last two episodes. Yes. Uh, Houston. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I keep picking uh, Houston. Jesus. But yes, no. Uh, yes, no. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been getting ahead on school, trying to make sure I can uh, just not have any schoolwork while I'm gone. Uh, oh, so you really crammed it then this this uh, whole week? That's the hope. Yeah, I have uh, most of it done. I may have to like submit the stuff. Um, while I'm on the on the trip, yeah, because you don't have a laptop, week. right? <laughs> uh, no, but uh, my friends have computers, so I can just log into the Google Docs, Google Sites, and just finish it if need be. If if that is the case, unless I don't finish it uh, by the time I need to leave, but Tingle? Question mark. Um, I thought he was going to unlock the charts for us, but I think. You want a tingle in my box? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's empty. Wait, what? Uh, next time, bring me one of your favorite. It's a chart I haven't seen yet. Wait, I, I thought. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I I have the locations of everything on my maps. He doesn't like the maps you have. <laughs> yeah, so every map here t has like a secret, which is kind of nice. <laughs> 
Can I? Nice. Oh, whoop. Uh, oh, any oops? Any other oops? Uh, anyway, there's um, there was a thing I was supposed to do here with uh, where he unlocks the Triforce things, but on on my in the Tingle chart, the Incredible chart has all the uh, <laughs> the Incredible the Tingle chart has all the locations of the Triforce. Thing. So I guess we really don't need we, we really don't need to see him other than like he unlocks. I think he unlocks one of the one of the things of the ghost ships. There's a ghost ship later in the game where we can go into it, but before we do that, we need to discover it and take the map to the thing. Take the map to the thing. Why? <laughs> okay. I accidentally put it away. Um, anyway, tons to do. So, basically, man, what's... No. We're, well, I'm just going to go up to this island. I'm going to start doing all the islands, actually. Now I can do it. I, would, I wish I got the sail, but the, we need the one of the conducting wind things. Uh, that changes the time of day. Okay. And I forget which one does it. It might be one of these, um, the next two dungeons that we do. Because basically we just have two dungeons, uh, we have Ganon's final dungeon place, and then the game's over. But in oh, between wow. all that, there's so much more to do, right? You can pretty much end this game once you get the trifle shots, but there's still so much more to do. I pretty, I pretty much just simplified it. Like we still gotta find the Triforce shards, get the boat, get the sail. We're gonna. I want 100% complete this one, so we're gonna be doing that. Right oh. now. Oh, I gotta say, this week besides just being busy with school, I've. Um, I feel like I've really kind of had another breakthrough piano wise, at least yeah. in my own skill, uh, skill range base. Um, mm -hmm. I started messing around with more improvisation, and uh, I really feel now I'm starting to get to a point of. Uh, fluency as in language because um, I, I can I can definitely see how uh, some of the masters of music really what they mean when they say that like, um, like the music lessons are broken you know like to be taught music you don't get taught music it's uh, yeah I mean, it's, it's in taught you. theory but you, it's in you yeah yeah that's, that's what I've always said so I never I, I, it, it's absurd that they teach music at colleges or uh, that's just me. But I like uh, I like listening to uh, like Victor Wooten, like a, a god bassist. Yeah. Um, he had a talk. Victor and, Wooten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, he I was talking about how he grew up with it. Um, with I've his, never seen this guy in my life. <laughs> this guy looks interesting. You were saying. Um, uh, but yeah, he he grew up in a household where he was like the youngest. <laughs> shut the f sorry. This is the guy we're supposed to give the flower to. Did you give away the flower already? No, I couldn't. But this is the guy? What mm. a fucking coincidence. Anyway. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Look at this fucking... He's sitting on the fucking water. Anyway, sorry. He <laughs> was like... like Gandalf. <laughs> yeah. But, like Legend of Zelda Gandalf. <laughs> yeah, like straight up. Well, well, it's a Goron, but he's in a... And he peers through with that hole in his hat. Yeah. That's a straight up... Oh, that makes me want to rewatch all the... Fucking, oh, extended I can rewatch all the Lord of the Rings extended edition extended. on my giant fucking TV. Ah, yes. You wanna come over? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. No. On a jet plane. <laughs> It'd be nice because, like, you know, you can have your shirt off. Anyway, just continue Whoa. with your story. <laughs> Where was that? <laughs> oh, I Let's... thought he was saying MAGA hats are in store right now. <laughs> this is mega superstar. Uh, all right. Well. Sorry. Continue uh, your yeah, story. Yeah, Victor was uh, just saying how... Uh, his family got into music and how he basically developed um, a fluency at a very, very young age. So by the time he could hold something like two, you know, he was uh, um, already able to start doing stuff. And then when he was uh, a little bit older, his brother, um, I guess I'm trying to remember how exactly he was talking about it, but music was always around him. So when he was born, his family or his, like older brothers were always playing music. Um, and then there was like a little toy that wouldn't really do anything, but they, were, he was able to hold on to it and just kind of jam along, but not mm. it wouldn't produce any sound. Um, but then when he was older, and they basically uh, were able to turn him into a bass player, which was kind of interesting because there was uh, that like position open, um, which is really interesting. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but for the fact that being around music and kind of learning, learning it as a uh, a development, not necessarily something that you just, uh, it's not something that's just, you're told to, like, hey, run these, 
12 scales, up and down, up and down, up and down. All right, now play these notes in succession, and you're just getting force-fed all this uh, very, I mean, it's, uh, very it's all structured. Um, I mean, there's a structure to it, but then there's also um, but learning the to, other half of it, right? I think people lose uh, the creative freedom, and I think freedom is the key word um, in understanding music as a language, because... It's interesting that we're even just communicating right now using English, using our words, using our bodies as a, a way of communication. You know, we could be dancing like bees. Yeah. Like, that's one that I often reference, but... Um, dancing like bees? Yeah, bees use, like, dancing to communicate. It's the most sexual uh, thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah, you should try that next time. I'm a, I'm a lady. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well said. But yeah, no. Silly goose. <laughs> I think I do this. It's cool. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, just spending enough time working and kind of developing your own voice and language, and learning how to articulate it yourself, not just copying what other people do. It's just like, oh, you don't need to learn songs. You kind of well, that's why I, I was it yourself. I always thought that music was the language of the soul. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I can, I can really see that. That's an That's um, that's um. <laughs> Although that's that's anything, people just lose sight of that. Like art can be the projection of the soul, the voice, the what you say can be projected. Like anything. Can. I see it as the most the, people. The eye. Uh, uh, what's it called? The reflections of it. The reflections of your heart is what I just. Yeah. I think. Uh, Very poetic. Because <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my name is Art. And, uh, I think it's very important. Yeah. Bob Ross, Twin Twin Watch the Twin Chickens channel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I forget what I was uh, rambling on about besides like doing music stuff. But I, yeah, I just think that's a super cool concept. Uh, I mean, it's not a concept, it's a fact, but. Um, it's a fact. Get your facts right. Fact. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I, I agree. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's also sad when people say, like, oh, I don't feel very musically talented. Like, well, it's all in us, but, I mean, to each their own. Yes. Uh, that, like, yeah, I guess not everybody's the same, but also, like, when you, when you want to try, you know, but that's, that's, well, just, that's a whole other There's a good Mike Tyson quote, actually, that he says of, like, um, it's a good thing you tried and you failed because most people didn't even try. There. I like that saying. Yeah. Full of <laughs> Full of something. Oh <laughs> yeah, you know when this stream is on. Uh, <laughs> set sail. Whoops. Just run straight into a shark. <laughs> Sharknado three. I wanted to snipe him, but uh, he's just being. Uh, so anyway, um, looks like you've got a lot of things you got to do when you come back. But for the most part, um, how are you wrapping up? the end of the year I'm um, fairly fairly good I think I should come out with all A's or probably a B on Linux because my teachers are probably gonna hate my final project since I don't want to do any work on it yeah I mean I already hate it already it's, it's just <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you you don't even know what it is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. so what do you what is your what's well, one of your final projects for your class uh, oh I think I mentioned it last, uh, an episode or two ago but uh, the one of them was doing a, like a, a Linux application that I have to do a slide about. Oh god. Yawn. Um, oh, the, exactly. the explorers! <laughs> Explore! Explore! Come back! Oh, um, these guys are legit. Um, yo! Yeah. Oh. Matter of fact, boat got there, you want to research Treasure. this treasure sea flow? You too, aren't you? Har, har, har. Get away from us, bad. Let me ask you, who wanders around on a fishless sea? Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Oh, I'm gonna crack this. It smells like the sea. It's fine. It's fine. I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. Sorry. How dare you? Pepito the chicken would be so disappointed. You wander. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just got a. Uh, I know what. Hey, but Naruto. Hey, but. <laughs> sorry. You continue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> With all the weak island dwellers who never leave their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like how the the boat is like extending his neck. I like. Mm. 
you know? Mm, I like your style, Bob. I feel like I've known you. So hey, tell you what. As the treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Oh, a treasure chart, not a chest. But with this, I think this one gives us to, uh... Leads us to a treasure chest, and inside the treasure chest, there's probably going to be a heart piece. I think this is all tutorial stuff. <laughs> Why is he telling... I know how to use it. Yes! Mm -hmm. Affirmative. I think he's just... Alright, cool, thanks. See you later. Bye! They're indentured servitudes. And we're off! So yeah, um, that guy... It's pretty useful because I know he gives us a treasure chart for something very useful. So now yeah, we have ice arrows. Yes, yeah, so now we can do a lot of stuff. So I, I got an, I got a text from my um, from my contractor offering me jobs for uh, for Monday. So <sighs> there's a lot of stuff. Going. Nothing the nerds go. No, that link is gone. <laughs> Out of our lives forever. Gone. Forever gone. Whoa. Oops. Okay, maybe, maybe I should have just done this from the beginning. <laughs> Artie, you're so fine, Artie. You make me lose my mind. Go, Artie. Yeah, yeah, go, Artie. I like how you uh, you needed those ice arrows. No, they'll, they'll come in handy like for you sure. I needed, needed those right now, ice arrows. It's just to get, you know. Oh, boy. I saw fire like a caveman. I was like, <laughs> I need to <laughs> 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 Must put them out somehow. <laughs> ice arrow. Booga anyway. booga. <laughs> Ice arrow. I'm not Ooh. Nuga Booga. Ooga Booga. <laughs> I'm more of like, oh, huh? Not Ooga Booga. I see one. Oh, we got it. Oh, so sexy. <laughs> Ooga Booga. Ooga Booga. <laughs> Ooga Booga. <laughs> well, thanks for demeaning me to a, a zero minded fucking. <laughs> Oh, aren't we all? Just the slightly advanced monkeys? I guess. I mean, like, I'm still ooga boogieing, but, like, I'm more like ooh ha, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, ooh ha instead of ooh ha? Yeah, man, that's, like, totally not the same thing. That's, like, two centuries Could you take a earlier. Like, I need a. Bro. I need to respond to my boss real quick. I uh, need to respond to my boss. <laughs> I'm climbing in a ship. I'm looking at sailing. Flying around the world as I'm gonna be carrying away. Did I, did I set sail, and with the wind we set sail. All the way to our home we set sail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I set sail on a Friday night. We make our way to Shadow Side. Sorry, like two more seconds. I didn't even know, get off airplane mode. Two more airplane modes. <laughs> Distractions on the stream. Making my way downtown, eating clouds, sailing on the sea. All right, you fool. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> How was it? Uh, you know, it was fun. Fun, fun while it lasted. Artie's back in control with the controller on the gamepad of the Wii U. Back from AFK from AFK. What's your What's your gamer <laughs> tag? What's your gamer tag? It's always been Googie Bean. Googie Bean? Yeah. Do you spell that? G O O G Y and then Bean. As in B E A N. As in Legume? Le Legume? Legume boo. Legume boo. She got a lot of legumes. She got a lot of legumes in there, you know what I'm saying? Shaboom, shaboom. Life could be a dream. Legume, legume. Life could be a bean, sweetheart. Oh man, sometimes you just you make my you make my day. Well not today! <laughs> you <laughs> bitch. Uh, <coughs> Sorry, I was just uh, confirming to my boss that I'm available. You hear, you hear that people? It's available. Available. I'm available for work. <laughs> I'm available for work. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yeah, last last week I uh Yeah, you got a sensor? My sister didn't like that my heart rate was bad. Yeah, me neither. And so you jerk. Uh, <laughs> she took me to Target and we picked up a uh, a Fitbit for Evan so it could monitor his heart rate. Oh yeah, how did it um, how was your heart thing you doing? Um uh, it's a about the same. Uh wait. Sorry. Right. Um uh this checks my heart rate, not my blood pressure. 
um, because my heart was racing after uh, like one morning when I increased my dosage after I went to visit the doctor. Why? Did he advise um, you to do that? Mm -hmm. What a terrible doctor. Um, well, <coughs> Evan, no! <coughs> increased my heart rate, not my blood pressure. <coughs> so as it was lowering, as the medication was lowering my blood pressure, my uh, heart rate was increasing, or at least that morning. But it seems to be fine and uh, and stuff. My heart rate's just kind of average, about 80, 80, 90, but sometimes spikes to like 100 and 120. Um, but otherwise, it's not it's not too shabby. <laughs> That's good. But I'm going to wait uh, another, basically, two weeks until I get back, um, or whenever it is. But I have a, another appointment to follow up with uh, doctor to see how how the past little while's been, because I uh, don't want to keep switching medications, I'm going to just stick with this uh, for a little bit to see if we can even it out or um, improve my current condition. Right. I mean, that, yeah. that'd be the hope, right? To, um, I mean, uh, yes. have you live for a little bit longer? That, that would be nice. But oh. your heart rate, though, that's crazy. Why would it, why would it increase? Is it part of the medication, the side effect? Um, maybe not as the side effect, but it was a, a po possible... Um, she mentioned that a different one sometimes that does happen to people so that is like a possible side effect I guess um, that a different uh, medication drug <coughs> uh, would also ins uh, aside from lowering blood pressure would also decrease heart rate because some people can uh, have increased heart rate when, uh, when taking like, whatever they're taking the right. but yeah so shout out to Cinepril to keep my boy alive Yo. <laughs> really, yo, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out, bro. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, oh my god, can I tell you about how I got my, how stupid it was for me to get my phone? So first I go there and I literally meet a guy that was just like, totally yo. nonchalant, pulled bag. He's just like, yo man, you want this phone? It's fire. And I'm like, I just want, sure. Like, whatever, man. Like if it's a phone, I'll, I'll take the news up. Dude, this phone got all these features. I'm like, can you tell me about them? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, great, dude. Okay, so, um. Thanks for helping me out. Yeah. Basically, uh, I go there and I get the, I get the Note, the Samsung Note 20. Uh, and I get it for free, pretty much. I, I have this jump program from T-Mobile that allows me to get any phone uh, that comes out. Once I pay 50% of the phone off, I'm able to get... Uh, that phone for free, nice. uh, which is pretty great. But I was not aware that I can get the Ultra as well for free. Oh, this is where we get the treasure map for the ghost ship. <sighs> Six torches of the seafloor. Epic. Oh, wow. Well. Easy, easy enough. What crazy dude. We can do it, right? Uh, uh no. Oh, I should save this. You should believe it. No! <laughs> he just threw his bait out. All right, let me get the clock. onto the floor. Can you can you scoop it up? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's gone forever, man. Let's scoop it back. It up. No longer exists. That's so sad. That's <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, you're living your life, man. <laughs> okay, I think from here I, I accidentally burned down my house. Oh well, you live and learn. You live and you learn. Wait, Excuse light. Me? It says light all six. I th they're all scattered around here, I believe. So. It's, hey, it's Legend of Zelda Snap. Uh, pretty much. Bruh. Can I... Can I help you? Okay, oh, there we go. That's one. Uh, jeez, man. That one way up there? Is there not, like, a ladder? <laughs> I, I can't reach it. Is there not, like, a ladder here somewhere? Um, I remember there, there's multiple areas to the shipyard, and I think this is the only one that's here. Because... Can I go up here? Nope. <clears throat> okay, so there's more more of this area outside of the island, and I think it just tr keeps transporting you up and down. Okay. Um, oh my god, it's already on this time. <sighs> Heaven, uh, well, final goodbyes, in case you, um, if something happens to you. <laughs> well, uh, my final message. <laughs> um... I guess you just enjoy, enjoy living, enjoy the process of, of growth. It's been, it's been a pleasure knowing you. 
Uh, no, I was talking about like uh, for your flight to Utah. I, th I thought you meant that. Yeah. <laughs> I just mean like <clears throat> uh, we're not gonna see you for like three weeks, so uh, what do you like to see? Enjoy. Oh, looks like we're outside. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> <I> just no. <laughs> oh, that's that's too bad. It's too bad, that's man. Too bad. Out of time. Nice. Well, you gotta unlock the chest, obviously. Does that not work? No, I know what you have to do, though. Um, I don't know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. Don't you duck me. <laughs> what? You remember? I forget about the... You remember. The pair. From, like, the first episode. <laughs> oh, my God. We only have one shot at this. Go, 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 go. Good boy, good boy. Oh, you're gonna get oh, me. oh, I got it. <gasps> no. I, I am this, you could die. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> we did it. Um, I hope it's just not a pack of cigarettes, but I. Or Marlboro or like. Just anything Newport. is better than that, right? Anything is better than that, so give me something good. Yay! Let's see. Well, guys, this was fun, and uh, we got we, we beat this little island thing. But I know there's more to do here because we have to light these torches, um, which we'll do that on the next on the next thing. Um, thank you for sticking with us for this time, and uh, we'll see you around in, on the street. Fabulous! Yeah. Right. Adios. Bye. Bye. To you, and you, and you, and you.